So GMBN is in Chile. We've left the UK behind in winter, flown 14 hours and we're in the beautiful weather in Santiago. And I've got a couple of days preparing for a race called the Andes Pacifico, which is a five day enduro stage race. So I'm gonna try and find some of the pros, get some tips and uh, hopefully they'll let me know what I've got myself into. We've arrived in Chile and here's Tracy Mosley sat next to me. We're on the same flight as Tracy Mosley from the UK, the world downhill champion and ex-enduro champion. So that's cool. Good to see her out here. There's quite a few pros. Went for a ride the first day with enduro racers such as Johan Borelli, Francois Bailey Maitre, Iago Garay. It's good fun. It's a bit of a taste of the local trails and the infamous Chilean anti-grip. The trails are just so dry out here. Chile's actually having a you know, bit of trouble with wildfires at the moment, which is just so dry. Uh, it's forecast to be like at least 30 degrees every day we're here. But the trails are amazing. They're sort of not really what I expected. They're way more established. Um, some really gnarly trails and just amazing sort of ridge lines. But we sort of got a taste of what's to come with a puncture. Iago punctured on the climb of all places. Iago <laughs> <laughs> managed to flat on the climb. I'm trying to bodge it. Just in the tire has no stand, so <laughs> it's a great idea. In Chile, there is a good saying that is said, "Too many hands kill the baby." <laughs> <laughs> pretty unforgiving place. All the races that have been here before have got pretty sort of uh, extreme bikes, uh, big tires, loads of tubeless gunk in there. To try and avoid those punctures, big brakes, and uh, I'm looking forward to this race. I feel good. What better way to? blow out the 14 hour flight then to climb 731 <laughs> meters. It feels good. <laughs> Look at that view. So day one, uh, Eduardo, the local from Mountain Bike and who's uh, organizing the race, took a big bunch of us out for a ride and it's just good to ride the local trails, get a bit of a taste for what it's going to be like and there's a real good crew. So it's a really good fun ride and one of the highlights we're seeing, Johan, Francoise and Iago doing a pretty big drift. Today we're off to do some pro bike checks for you lucky viewers. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> you have your pants off. And hopefully I'm going to get some tips off them on uh, how I should deal with this race. This is my first enduro race in a long time. Do you have any tips for me? Uh, it's going to be bad. It's going to be hard. Be, <laughs> be ready for that. <laughs> be ready to suffer because it's going to be a, a long journey. Yeah. <laughs> but don't never go full enduro. <laughs> take his advice. <laughs> so this is my first race in a couple of years. Uh, do you have any tips for me for racing the Andes Pacifico? Yeah, just make sure you don't beat my time. If not, I'll beat you up. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, we'll see. Uh, when you will leave the country, you will have so many memories and uh, just, uh, you know, sharing with the people. That's what those races are good. And we're going blind and yeah. blind racing is definitely the best because you, we have to challenge couple of different stuff than uh, cactus and yeah. pisco in the evening, yeah. wow. sleeping in the tent. Well, they say no pisco, no disco. No pisco, no disco. So I think I'm ready for Andy's Pacifico, but I've got Tracy Mosley. Have you got any final tips for me? I think probably just from the experience of last year, taking it steady, certainly on stage one, just getting used to the terrain. Loads of people went in like super excited to be here and pretty much crashed out in stage one. So I think, yeah, just, just take it steady. Overexcited, I've exactly. done that. I went to Whistler <laughs> and crashed on the first run. So I've got experience in that. Uh, keep your eyes peeled on our Facebook and our YouTube channel for more from Andy Pacifico, but click here on the GMA logo to subscribe and click down here for how to ride trails blind. And click down here to see a feature on my pro bike. Sum up if you like this video.